Why do you think things are the way that they are? B budgets that can't, we can't have a budget. We have to continue to have stopgap measures. Why? Trillions of dollars are being pulled into the now to fund this project and that project. Why? Wars are going to go on and on and expand it on. Everything you could dream about here. Because again, all of this is a mechanism to allow the central banks to continue to do what? To inflate, which is their final solution. Their final solution, people, is to exterminate a, a large portion of the global population. And they're, they're doing so right now by pushing these people to the lower rung of society, as you are well aware of, creating this two-tier society. And then they're going to pull the plug on the entire financial system. Pandemonium around the freaking world is going to break out when that happens. And then, of course, the new system is going to be introduced. We all know this. Anyway, and of course you get the, the, the freaking fear, the, the fear being propagated. The World Health Organization is very concerned now about this new XBB15 Omicron variant. Gregory Manorino is one of the most outspoken and passionate financial analysts of our time. He has been a longtime critic of the Federal Reserve and its monetary policies. His predictions and warnings are rooted in sound economic analysis and have been extremely accurate in the past. Now, Manorino is warning that the Fed's policies could cause more pain in 2023. He believes that the current policies are unsustainable and that they will lead to further economic hardship. He argues that the only way to avoid this fate is to take action now and to begin to move away from the Federal Reserve's policies. This is an important message that should be taken seriously by policymakers and investors alike as the consequences of inaction could be dire. Welcome to Savvy Economists. In this video, we take a closer look at Manorino's predictions and discuss why he believes that 2023 could be a difficult year for the economy. Please watch, like, and share this video. Also, drop your comments and thoughts below. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel for more related content similar to this. We begin with a short clip of Gregory Manorino. What's driving this? What's driving this uh, route in the markets lately, it, it, it's as clear as day to me. And it should be as clear as day to you because I give you the tools to watch this. I, I tell you exactly what you should be following. Now, with that said, lately, just over the past several days, we've seen some very, I want to say, interesting, troubling um, moves here with regard to global bond yields. Uh, I mean, f for weeks, we had this slow pace of, of rising uh, rising rates. And then all of a sudden, by some miracle, over the last several days, rates came down precipitously. Then they came back up a little bit. And then now they're kind of like, I don't want to say stabilizing, but uh, we're going to need to watch this, honestly. This is clearly absolutely crystal clear to me again another sign that the monster bubble of them all of them all by exponents people this global debt bubble which continues to be fueled by runaway central banks who are determined to crush you to death literally uh well it's unstable and it would take almost nothing in my view to allow this ticking time bomb to simply go off. You know, a couple of things happened today. I outlined this earlier. I said, watch the relative strength of the dollar. And we had a big move higher today. Now, this does not mean, look, I can't tell you people how many emails I get a day. People asking about, well, Greg, the, the dollar is stronger. Uh, you keep saying that the dollar is getting weaker, but the dollar appears to be stronger. People, look, how many times do I have to explain this? I don't know. And maybe I'm getting new people here. But yes, let's look at the dollar on a relative strength basis again today. It did gain. In fact, it gained a lot. That was fear, as I covered earlier. But when you're looking at the dollar relative strength, relative means comparing it to other currencies. I've I've covered as of late, which I believe is going to be a big theme moving forward from right here. And, and I said from years ago that you and I would witness the relative strength of the dollar remain high. But that does not mean that the dollar's purchasing power isn't being socked out deliberately every single day. As a matter of fact, 
Every single central bank issued note today is having its purchasing power deliberately removed. Henceforth, why we're seeing inflation here and the lie, the distortions are still being propagated by this Fed president and this freak and the mainstream channels. Oh, yeah, you know, they're going to Fred's going to keep raising rates. It's going to finally at one point, it's going to make a difference. Hasn't done a damn thing yet, but at one point it's going to. And this is a fable. It's a tale. What they're doing, and you know this, is they're killing demand. How do you kill demand? Let me ask you that question. It should be a very simple one to, to answer here. Gregory Manorino discusses recent moves in global bond yields, specifically how rates have been rising slowly for weeks and then suddenly dropped over the past several days and then went back up again. Manorino suggests that this is a sign of a larger issue, specifically a global debt bubble fueled by central banks that is unstable and could easily burst. He says that he has been warning about this for years and that it is clear to him. He also mentions that he has been receiving emails asking about the strength of the dollar, but he explains that he looks at the dollar in terms of relative strength compared to other currencies and that the dollar's purchasing power is being deliberately removed. Manorino criticizes the Fed and mainstream media for lying about inflation and continuing to propagate distortions. He believes the Fed have been lying to us that continuous raising of interest rates will make a difference in the economy until now nothing has changed. According to Manorino, he believes the Fed are busy killing demand with their policy and he throws a question asking how are they doing it. Here we are also asking you what do you think about these. Kindly let us know your thought in the comment section below. In the next video clip from Manorino, he provides answers to the question on how the Fed are killing demand. Here's it. Listen to these carefully. You kill demand by pressuring the consumer. Uh, I would say most of you out here are under pressure. Yes, the economy continues to free fall on a global level, level because consumers are getting crushed. And this is the real reason, the actual reason that you're not supposed to know about why central banks collectively continue to raise rates and will continue to do so. I imagine this is what we're hearing now. Look, uh, it's just, it's such a twisted situation here. Inflation, inflation, inflation. Yesterday, right out of their mouth, the Federal Reserve inflation is going to remain high for the foreseeable future. And that's where you got creatures like Lex Luthor, Neil Kashkari saying, oh, the Fed's going to keep raising rates. Now, speaking of that, we heard from the IMF today, the International Mafia Fund. Now, I want to bring something to your attention here. If you recall, weeks ago, maybe a month or so ago, could have been longer than that, we had the, the International Mafia Fund coming out explaining that the, the, the stance that central banks are taking right now, being aggressive raising rates, was, was alarming and troubling to them, the IMF, and they believed that this was going to cause the global economy to face uh, a, a terrible moment moving forward. Now, this tune has completely changed. So I want to read this to you ver verbatim. IMF, which initially said that the Federal Reserve's aggressive stance on raising rates would hurt the world economy. Clearly, that's what it's designed to do. I mean, come on, people. They're, they're admitting this. They're trying to crush demand. They're doing so by crushing the people. All right, so we got this. Uh, would hurt the world economy is now saying, the IMF is now saying that the Federal Reserve must continue to raise rates moving forward. Why do you think, in your opinion here, we have this, I don't know, complete 180 with regard to the IMF's perspective on this? And understand, they're a player in this too. Maybe they were let in on the big secret here that the fact of the matter is that central banks are going to push harder and harder and harder on the, the world economy because why? What are they trying to do? You know what central banks are trying to do to fulfill their end game, to be the freaking lenders, I almost said a different word, and buyers of last resort. Why do you think things are the way that they are? B budgets that can't, we can't have a budget. We have to continue to have stop gap measures. Why trillions of dollars are being pulled into the now to fund this project and that project? Why wars are going to go on and on and expand it on? Everything you could dream about here. Because again, all of this is a mechanism to allow the central banks to continue to do what? 
to inflate, which is their final solution. Their final solution, people, is to exterminate a, a large portion of the global population. And they're, they're doing so right now by pushing these people to the lower rung of society, as you are well aware of, creating this two-tier society. And then they're going to pull the plug on the entire financial system, pandemonium around the freaking world is going to break out when that happens. And then, of course, the new system is going to be introduced. We all know this. Manorino talks on how consumers are under pressure due to the global economy's continued free fall. He believes that the reason for this is that central banks are collectively raising interest rates, which is causing consumers to get crushed. He mentions that the International Monetary Fund, IMF, initially believed that the Federal Reserve's aggressive stance on raising rates would hurt the world economy, but now they have changed their tune and are saying that the Federal Reserve must continue to raise rates. To back up the statement, an October 2022 post from VOA News revealed that IMF chief, Kristalina Georgieva, wants central banks to keep raising rates to hit neutral level. She believes that this is the only way inflation can be curbed. Manorino believes that the IMF is a player in this situation and that they may have been let in on the big secret that central banks are going to push harder and harder on the world economy in order to be the lenders and buyers of last resort. Listen to these carefully. Anyway, and of course you get the, the, the freaking fear, the, the fear being propagated. The World Health Organization is very concerned now about this new XBB15 Omicron variant saying it's a, it has a growth advantage. Okay, so it's very effective, remember that word, in uh, attacking whatever they're trying to make you afraid of. I think it's 100% shit, but that's just me, okay? Uh, you, you, you go ahead and make up your own mind on, on about all of this here. Um, so we heard from Fed, Fed President Bullshit, I mean Bullard, and he's saying, listen to this. This is, this, this is what really gets to me. I, I hate these people. Nobody in the world, I think, despises central bankers more than me. I, and I think you probably all were. Maybe it's you. Maybe you do too. But Fred Bullard is saying, sometime this year, in 2023, he sees through his, his crystal ball, his magic, whatever, how he's doing it here, that inflation may, notice that word, start to wane. Okay, but we just heard just from the Fed the other day that it's going to continue to remain sustained for the foreseeable future. You see what they do? They, they always play this game. This freak says that. Another freak says this. It's all designed to keep people off balance. But you and I, we see through all the crap. We know exactly what's going on here. In this short video clip from Manorino, he discusses concerns about a new variant of the virus known as the XBB15 Omicron variant, which the World Health Organization states has a growth advantage. The speaker expresses their belief that this fear is being propagated in order to keep people off balance. Manorino mentions a statement made by a Fed president, Bullard, who predicts that inflation may start to rise sometime in 2023, despite the Fed's recent statement that it will remain sustained for the foreseeable future. Manorino expresses his dislike for central bankers and believes that these statements are all part of a game to manipulate people. That's all for today. If you have any questions or contributions in regard to the topic being discussed in the video today, feel free to let us know in the comments section below. Kindly share this video with your family and friends, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Anticipate our next video update. Thanks for watching.